So what do you think to that then, Phil? Can't wait. Oh yeah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Alan Hart and today we're going to install a central heating system. This video is going to be a little bit different today because I've got two lads who are trainees or apprentices. They're both in the second year at college and I'm just, just helping them out today. They've asked me if they can come with me and get some experience. So we've got a wall here. I've bought some radiators, got, um, got a few radiators. And what we're going to do in this video, we're going to install, let's look, smile, smile at the camera, come on, smile. <laughs> we're going to do some, um, we're going to pipe the radiators up, pipe the central heating up. We're going to do it with different pipe work. So we're going to do some soldering. We're going to do some copper press fit. We're going to do some push fit. And we're going to do, um, some MLCP pipe as well. So, yeah. So what do you think to that then, Phil? Can't wait. Oh, yeah, damn it. Go on, Phil, what do you think? Oh, can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> right then, let's make a start. Yeah. We've got the combi boiler here. So this is an ideal logic combi boiler. And at the moment, we've got a flow, which is that one there. And we've got a return, which is that one there. And we're going to pipe this in. And we're going to pipe this in as a two-pipe heating system. And we're going to put some radiators. And we're going to put them on this wall here. I've opened the radiators up. Or Phil and Danny have opened the radiators up. And I'm just going to show them how to put the tails in for the radiator valves. Um, so if you use PTFE, this is actually gas PTFE. I don't normally use PTFE tape, um, but if you're going to use PTFE, then what you do, you get your thread, and get your PTFE tape, and then just put that onto your thread, and then the, whichever way it is, when you're going to tighten it into the radiator, that goes on that way, so that as you tighten it in, as you tighten the tail into the radiator, it's tightening the PTFE tape up. If you put it on the other way around, as you're trying to tighten it into the radiator, the PTFE tape will just come off. Um, and then you you put um, quite a lot of wraps on here. And different people will do different number of wraps and it will de depend because these, if you don't put enough on, sometimes they're gonna leak. I used to, when I used to use PTFE, I used to put about 20, 20 wraps on there. And then once you've put your 20 wraps on, I used to just get that and just go around and squeeze it on a bit and then screw that into the tail on the radiator. What I actually use now, which I find is much better and, and it never leaks to be honest, is I use Loctite 577. And all, all we do with Loctite is just open this tub Get us thread. We just put a little bit on on thread, and if that if that nozzle had been a bit smaller, I could have just run around with it. I put I've cut it a bit too much the nozzle. Just put that that on us on us thread like that, and then just tighten that then. into the radiator. Loctite 577 works with two two metals. And then all I'd do with that is just nip it up a little bit. This doesn't need to be don't need to be too tight because it actually it makes the joint itself. And then just leave that. You normally need to leave it maybe about 15 minutes or so before you put any water in so that just so it don't leak yeah. right so we've got this thing we're going to put another radiator on the wall here now they're just doing this one we've done this radiator we've put this one on the wall we've put the tails in and we've put the bleed point in and also the blanking cap on this one here and we're just taking ends, the plastic bits out of the ends now. So we're just 
got Phil putting a bit of Loctite on, on his thread. And Danny's just doing this one. Danny's just going to screw this one in. So that's the Loctite 577 we're using for this. So Phil's just measured centre to centre on where the brackets are going to go on the back of the radiator so that he can install the radiators on the wall here now. And now he's going to just measure up from what would be the imaginary floor to what the bottom of the radiator would be. Why are you putting brackets on that way Phil? Um, so with these brackets, um, I put it on this way to sort of be further away from the wall. Um, but you can put it on either side, so I put it on that way if I wanted it to be closer to the wall. Just putting some plastic clips on. And these just stop the noise transfer when the heating comes on and off. So this is the first time that they've done these radiators. So they're, they're like virgins today, aren't you, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Phil? Yeah. Forever a virgin. <laughs> radiator virgins. So Phil and Danny are going to start to pipe these radiators up now. We've got the, they've got the radiators on the wall now. And they're going to pipe them up. This top part we're going to do in MLCP pipe. This pipe that we've got is Blansol. And what you've got is a plastic pipe. And then it's a PEX pipe, and then it's aluminium, and then it's PEX pipe again. And we've got different connections. So we've got we've got um, like a chrome connection that we can connect directly into the bottom of the radiator. And then we've got some little nuts, and we can put the pipe directly into the radiator. And we're also going to put a sharp piece of copper in the radiator. So I can show you different examples on how you can pipe the MLCP pipe onto the radiator system. So we've put the bent, uh, we've put the chrome tail in here and we've, we've formed that with, with bender machine just to give us a nice bend on the radiator. Phil's just putting some clips on. So I'm just going to show Phil and Danny now how to connect the MLCP pipe. So as I said before, this is Blansol MLCP pipe and it's got an aluminium layer in there. So this pipe, when you bend it, it just stays where you bend it. Really good quality stuff. And then to clean end, so when we look at end of pipe, I need to put us put the cleaning tool in the end. And what that does is it just deburrs it. And when it deburrs it, it gives you a little bit of a little bit of the plastic on there. Just pass you that. And then if we get us fitting. And if we have a look at us fitting there, it's got some holes. Yeah? And what we need to do, we need to push this pipe in and we can see them holes and we know that we've got it fully in. We just shot camera, just got some holes there, and then we can see that the pipe is fully in. So then what we're doing, so this is brass inside here, so it's, it's a really good quality fitting. So then we push that on there, you see how easy that's gone on? Yeah. And it's in. And then what we do then, just show you, so that's in on there. Don't know if you can see there. It's a bit hard to see. And then what we've got, got some jars here. So these are the Hilti jars. These profile you have different profiles this is a th16 and this is a 16 millimeter pipe so it's a th16 jar and we need to make sure that this part of it here goes into this part of the jar yeah. so it just goes into this part of the jar here and then all we need to do once that's in we know it's in Press that, and that's it, that's sealed. So there's no mess, no muck, no flux going in your pipe, and it's a really strong fitting. What do you think yeah. to that? It's really strong, isn't it? Like it? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. 
<laughs> and I just put that in. So now we're going to show a different type of footing. So if you just wanted to connect your pipe directly into the radiator, you can get um, a different type of coupling. And we're going to connect to that one on this one. So again, what we'll do is deburr the end of the pipe. Put us nut on and put us olive on. So we've put the nut on and we've put us olive on there. And then we've got this this connection there. So it's got a double O ring. Yeah? Yeah. So we've pushed that into the bit of the pipe where we've deburred it. And then all we need to do then is screw that up onto there. And that'll connect into the bottom of the radiator. See? in this section now. So we've deburred this now and now we're just putting the two in place. I'll just show that Danny, just let me just see that there. Just see that we've got the pipe, Danny's pushed the pipe right in. And this is all just loose just to make it easier to connect. And then we're gonna press this up. So this is the first time Phil's ever used a press gun. So he's a little bit nervous, aren't you, Phil? Yep, very <laughs> nervous. See how this goes. Just take it off, lift it off. And just see there, it's all pressed, lovely as that. That's how I've done a good job, have I? <laughs> You'll do that on one? Ah, we'll This one, this one. Right, oh yeah, sorry. There you go, so both of them fittings, now we can see white bits there, that white bit in there, so we know the fittings are, are fully on. If you've got any questions for the apprentices or the trainees, please ask them in the comments below. Um, this is the end, end of day one, um, we'll be back, back tomorrow with another video. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions, please ask them below, and as always, if you'd like to subscribe, if you click up there somewhere, and up here and down here, I'll also add some other links to some other videos as well. Thank you very much for watching.